Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Char Kirk. Hey, guys. This is our review for Kuch Kuch Hota Hey. If you haven't watched our watch along reactions at all, you should probably watch those before watching this review because the this review style is a little bit different from our traditional movie reviews. It's right. more just like our feelings. Our feelings, the way yeah. we do with like trailer reactions or anything like that. I got to say, the way this started out, I was I really wasn't sure how to feel about the film. The little thing at the beginning said it's very lighthearted, fun, etc. And then it was like, it started out with a pyre. I'm like, God, Jesus, like, this is sad. This is yeah, dark. It was really but, sad. But it was actually really smart that they started out with that to set you up to let you know, okay, this person's going to die. So you don't feel as bad. It's like, it, it got you on board with this scenario right away so that it wasn't as dark of a film as uh, it could have been otherwise. Because had this death come later, like in the middle of the movie, that would have been horrifying. And you wouldn't have been rooting for the relationship for uh, Rahul and Tina. You know... I mean, uh, Rahul and... Um, Anjali. Uh, Kajol, yeah, Anjali. Anjali like, yeah. Just said her name like 8,000 times in the movie, of course, I messed that up. Anjali. 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 Anjali? <laughs> I thought the structure of the film was actually cool. The last bit with Salman Khan, it was a weird thing for me as an American because I'm like, I like this, but why do I like this? Take, for instance... Um, the Dustin Hoffman film The Graduate mm -hmm. in The Graduate Dustin Hoffman is in love with this girl he realizes late in the film like oh I love this girl and he crashes her wedding and he's like he fights for her and they run off together and escape the wedding right that's a main character fighting for what he wants whereas in here the two main characters resign themselves to well I guess this is it and they just gave up. And Salman Khan is the one who turned that around and said, okay, no, no, here you go. You guys belong together. Clearly, you're soulmates. And so, as an American, it's like so strange that I like this anyway, because... It goes against what I've been raised with. Well, yeah, it's a difference of culture, right? The Asian culture, it's a lot more about the collective. It feels like it's more about thinking about others. And in this case, he was thinking about the happiness of the person he loves, which really is the right way to go about it, right? Like, yeah. she's not property. She's not something for him to win. She is a person. And, and if he loves her, he has to help to make her happy and I thought that was really beautiful and the thing that I loved the most about the story was just this idea of the movie going yeah you do have this love like the love that you have when you get married Rahul loved Tina mm -hmm. and they got married and they had their happiness they had their moment mm -hmm. and then it passed Tina was such a loving partner and a loving wife that she was like you know I, I still I want you to be happy like I want you to have a life and I think that for me that was like the most beautiful thing about it this idea of like please please go on and be happy yeah. and, you know have a family and I just want to correct myself real quick the whole thing about like the character having this goal and objective and fighting for it I just realized that young Anjali actually was that person who did that. She fought to the very end. She's like in front of Salman Khan and she's like, look, okay, <laughs> I'm begging you, fuck off. <laughs> She fought all the way to the end and got her goal. She accomplished it. She won. Cringe or no cringe? Because I know that a lot of people are like, oh, this is such a cringy film. Why would it you? is. It, it is cringy. Yeah. But that's just purely because of the fact of it's a 90s movie. Well, whatever. I mean, I'm sure there's pl plenty of films from India in the 90s that are not like this. This is very Karan Johar, right? Sure. Despite it being cringy at times and way over the top at times, this is actually a very lovable, adorable movie. S I the, love this yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. It, it has so much heart that's yeah. the thing about it it's you're rooting for it because everything's just very earnest you know yeah like you really feel for for the characters you you care about them and even though a lot of it you know i enjoyed it i enjoyed a lot of the over the top elements because it was really fun and it felt like theater mm -hmm. but underneath it all there is still that human element in the storytelling and in the characters and in their wants and desires and everything that you you can't help falling in love with them and you can't help rooting for them because they feel like real people yeah. you know with real real wants and needs and you know everyone just wants love and stuff and so what if they break out into song every few minutes and there's some kind of cringy behavior, right. you know? I actually like this more than Kabi Kabi Kushigam. Kabi Kabi Kushigam. Yes. I thought this was a far superior film, in my opinion. I'm sure there are people who disagree with me and feel like that one's better. But in terms of the cringe factor in Kabi Kabi Kushigam, it's like... Kabi Kushi Kabi Gum. I'm sorry, I kept messing. 
<laughs> Kiss, K3G. K3G. You guys know what I'm talking about. In terms of that one, I just found it, it didn't agree with my system as much. It, <laughs> like, I didn't grow up in Asia like a char did. Like for me, it's my American sensibilities, you know, and does it mesh with the Indian sensibilities of this film or does it clash? With K3G, like there were instances where it's like, okay, cool, I like this. And instances that I just, I didn't, it didn't agree with me. And here it's like, it just worked. I'm like, oh, I... I think this is a really fun movie, you know, in terms of the music, in terms of the style, the clothing, the acting, you know, there was some acting that was a bit much when Shah Rukh Khan was pretend laughing at uh, Anjali's outfit. Yeah. I was like, that was a bit much. That was uncomfortable too. But in that last hour, there were so many great moments that Karan Johar captured. Great case in point is when um, Anjali comes to him and he's like, I'm happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, the fact that you're happy is a problem. Right. And then she walks away and he was all like, cool turns yeah. and you see the tears in his eyes I'm like how did you do that so fast that was amazing some of the best acting I've seen from SRK is in this goofy ass movie mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. like like I love the part where he was just crying at the end and he wasn't doing his little like shutter. the shutter thing he yeah. was just standing there really still and the tears were falling down his face now I'm like yes yes Shah Rukh Khan yeah. I buy that he kind of did a little bit of the shutter at the beginning but yeah he, he yeah like when he when he let go of it and was just yeah. like in the moment and yeah. and just keeping it small I'm like yes that's do that do more of that there was this really really small and fleeting thing in the film in the last hour again where young Anjali was very very distraught at the fact that older Anjali was leaving she runs to her bed crying and SRK comes over and it's so touching and so heartwarming the way he just came over and like touched her face it was all very simple and it felt very yeah. real you didn't need anything else and yeah. it, it, it blows my m- in mind how many times there were just real moments in the midst of this absurd comedy. My favorite moment was in when Rahul was doing the practice I love you mm-hmm. um, and he was saying it to Anjali and like at first she's so happy and then later on she realizes that actually he's practicing saying it to Tina and you just kind of see her face there and like she's crying and she's like I love you too and oh all God. of that and They're I was like, just like Oh. That, that mirrored the the charade moment. I didn't even pick up on that. Right. Oh yeah, it did, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. In a way. But kind of. I like yeah. that I liked that I like that scene a lot. I think that was my what, favorite scene. I like that scene a lot in how it became because I didn't like the setup to it because he is running she's running yeah it was a little bit it was was a little bit like over the top it was contrived yeah it was contrived but once they got into the moment and then the acting there was so good yes I was just like oh my god this is this is heartbreaking I want her to be with him but I know like for the sake of the movie and stuff like it was very satisfying to go through the whole journey of and then they get together in the conflict yeah you you need it yeah I just wish that the introduction into that moment was better but I agree with you like just the idea around that of can you practice with me? I need to practice saying this because I, like, I want to be able to profess my love to this lady. And she commits and to like, it. I'm right here. And she says it. And just like the way she just is falling apart, Kajol did a, an amazing job yeah. in this film between balancing the Lucille Ball acting style and the serious moments and like the, the emotional stuff. The drama. The drama, everything. I thought she, she rode that line perfectly through this film. People who like hate on this movie because of whatever, whatever, like I, I kind of don't understand that because I thought there was a lot of joyful moments in here, especially with yeah. Anupam Kerr. Like, oh my God. In that first hour. That was, that was such a fun role for him as well because, you know, we've only ever really seen him in more serious. dramatic, serious yeah. stuff. And he's a fantastic actor. And then here he is showing his acting chops in a completely different goofy way and he's totally leaning into it and yes at times it's absolutely ridiculous but it still feels fantastic because he's so committed to it he was perfect he was so good yeah. miss briganza as well like the two of yeah. them together <laughs> were just crazy yeah no but i thought anupam <laughs> care might have like in terms of the goofiness cajole was uh, as like great anupam care it's like what he was doing was I think actually incredibly difficult because he was doing this over the top acting. Yes. But it somehow fit perfectly in such a way that it wasn't off put putting. Yes. Agreed. You Agreed. Know? Like it, it just kind of felt like that's the character and it didn't feel out of place in the movie. That's what I liked. And this is the thing that I feel 
at least this movie kind of embodies a lot of the ideas of Bollywood, which is like, it really was a mixed bag. It was a you musical. Mean like masala? Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, it was just like all the flavors. You've got the sweet, the salty, the sour, the spice, everything. And and here you have the comedy, you have the, the drama, mm. you have the musical aspect. I feel like in the West, normally, this wouldn't really work. Like you, you referenced Greece, mm-hmm. and I thought that was actually a really good reference because I mean, Greece has a lot of this as well. Like yeah. it was kind of, it was funny, it was over the top, but there was also like a romance and like some emotions and stuff like that. But I feel like this did it better. I've enjoyed this pretty much more than any other American musical I've watched, besides Sound of Music and um, Mrs. Mary. I mean, Mrs. Mary Poppins. This is something I would totally throw on in the background as a as a just background watch and, and listen while I'm doing other things and having people over and a party or something like that. Way more than The Witcher, I would have this on as, you know, background playing because it's appropriate for all ages. It is appropriate for all except ages. Except for all the neck sniffing and whatnot. No, even with the neck sniffing, yeah. I think it's appropriate for all ages. I don't it's know, really man. It's a great family movie. She, when, when, when Kajol was doing like that little dance before his I Love You and in the camp, I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> you and she, the little kid both. Um, and, and, and Ronnie Mukherjee's outfit sometimes Times was just killing me. I'm like, golly, she didn't skip leg day at all. No, well, you got to have something for the for the grown up men, right? And then the young teenagers. She's just like screaming, sexy. You know, like with the voice, the way she walks and carries herself, that face. Her acting was really good too. I don't want to forget to say that. <laughs> but like, I, yeah, I love I love her as an actress it, as well. It's like it's hard to remember. Like, I feel bad when I say this out loud, but it's like, it's hard to remember to comment on her acting because I'm just so distracted by how beautiful she is. Yeah, because she is stunning. Did you know that Kajol and Rani Mukherjee are cousins? I did not know that. This is, I, apparently, I saw this in the comments a whole bunch. Speaking of good looks, this is the best looking I've seen Shah Rukh Khan look as well. Yeah, in, in, I mean, Shara in terms Khan of the older films. Looked, yeah, Shah Rukh Khan looked great. I thought that Salman Khan looked great as well. Well, except for the little hair thing he had on the side. Oh. I was just like, you should shave that off. Okay, whatever. But, I really liked him in this as well. Like, yeah, his his acting job. was really grounded. Except for on the basketball court. That was garbage. But, like, outside of that, it, it, it was just <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, like, it was, it was kind of like riding the line between, like, really over the top and yeah. weird and then just being real and grounded and, like... No, I didn't feel like it was real and grounded at dude, all. Dude, I thought uh, that Mom, was you're like, a good guy. I felt like that was some weird, you know, PlayStation 2 character animation from no, a cutscene. When, when at the very end. Oh, at the when, end, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. I'm talking about the basketball court. Oh, yeah, that was weird. Like when him and, and <laughs> SRK are talking, I'm like, uh, dude. Like, And he's like, bye. And he kind of walks off like this. Bye, dude. I'm like, what yeah. are you doing? The thing that um, they never brought back around was the guy who played the colonel, the camp manager. Oh. They they never brought it back around because he was so like a British obsessed it, it, to the point that was just absurd and ridiculous because yeah. he like somehow conflated Gone with the Wind with with Britain which is totally not the same. No, the idea was just that he didn't really have a connection with his Indian roots. His Indian right. roots, and yeah. And so they maybe it was cut out of the film. I get it. It's a long movie, but they could have had a little moment in there where he he comes around to his Indian roots. Because oh, I guess this is just a joke. I mean, not yeah. everything, not everything has to come around. Not everything has to have an arc. But I think like, he did though. They showed it in a song. He was praying. He was he was praying. Oh, I with, thought he was just going with along grandma. with it because of the grandma. I thought he was just dealing with it because of the grandma. I didn't I, really get the sense that he found love for it. I thought that he was starting to come around, right. like towards the end. But yeah, I mean, I guess his arc isn't as important. We never see Principal Malhotra and Miss Briganza mm-hmm. get together, even though I'm sure we all want to and we all imagine that they, they probably do. Wait, what are you talking about? They were together at the wedding. Yeah. But like, so that implies that they end up getting married too? Or they to have me a it relationship? Does. To me, it does. It, to me, but like, it was they just didn't nice really... to see them back together. That was. Just a strange... That felt very much like kiss, kiss, bang, bang. It's like, let's just have everybody back at the end of the movie. It was very odd. (laughs) Like, when were you invited? Yeah, it would have been cool to have, like, a moment of just sort of implying that maybe they had been talking still or something. But it's fine. Like, you're, at that point, I'm just happy that they ended up together, uh, uh, SRK and Cajole. Like, and so it's like, hey, yeah, have her back too. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. Everyone. This is all refrigerator logic at this point of like, well, they could have, you know, made that work. But the thing about it is, for a three-hour film, this thing flies. Yeah. Like, it, it moves. Like, compared to K3G, like, when you're watching that, you're like... I'm feeling every hour. Not not that it's a bad movie. I'm just feeling every hour. Whereas here, it's like it's really it's really well balanced between absurdity 
and drama. Yeah. And like, I'm, I'm like just laughing at the goofiness of the film and then feeling the serious moments as well. And I'm on board for young Anjali's thing. Uh, I'm a little bit sad that uh, Salman Khan didn't get to find Neela or Neelam. Neelam, yeah. Uh, before the I, film's over. But I mean, this implication is there. In my mind, I'm like, yeah. It works out. Yeah, Amon and Neelam somehow magically end up together. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That cute couple. Everyone gets matched up. It's fine. Everyone gets a partner. Everyone gets a partner. We're fine. The basketball stuff, man. Oh, Lord. As an American who has played basketball in his youth, I'm like, good God, y'all need to learn how to dribble. L- listen. Like, what's, uh, could Joel's like dribbling like this? I know. And SRK is dribbling like this. He's totally traveling with the ball and he's jumping up and down. I'm like, who is, where's the, where's the ref? <laughs> where's okay. the ref on this? Listen, okay. As someone who is in a few things back in the day in Asia, now I know Thailand's not the same as India, but I feel like, Back in those days, people just weren't as concerned about being realistic or doing the research. Because I remember I got cast in a music video to play like I was in a band and they gave me a bass guitar and I was like, I don't know how to play this. And they were like, just... Weren't you in a band with your dad? They let the little kid b- play a massive violin that didn't even... He couldn't even reach the I the know, thing. but I liked it. I liked it because it would look so ridiculous. It's like... <laughs> It looked adorable. It just made him look even smaller, like he could fit in your pocket. That's the thing about it. That it's was like, pretty adorable. You know, yes. they they had like they had cute little kids in this movie from start to finish. Yeah, they cast some really great kids, and and the kid that played Anjali, she was, really she good. was so good. Yeah. She was such a good kid, like a good. It's really hard to find good child actors. I think <laughs> not in Asia. You just beat them. <laughs> Rude. It's like take out the belt. Act better. <laughs> <laughs> One more take. This time, stop sucking. If you don't, if you don't get recognized in America, you ain't doing a good enough job. I'm just making. No, just she was really fun. good. Yeah, no, she, she was, was really good. And and like all the kids that they cast were super great as well. Yeah. What was SRK's job in this movie? I don't know. I guess he was some sort of financy guy. He had business in London. You know, one of the things I was Oh no, for- import and export maybe because right. he went to that expo okay. with Salman Khan, something like that. Yeah. I don't actually care that much, yeah. but I was just curious. There was this thing that happened in the early on in the film where it's it established that SRK was late often, like he was 2 hours late to see his daughter or something like that. Oh yeah, on her birthday. And they never really brought that back around. So it's okay. Here's my thing, okay? Again, going back to my American sensibilities. If you show something, generally it's a setup to something else in the film. You want to pay it off somehow, right? Mm-hmm. It's always like you're bringing it back around. Like there's this whole epic introduction of them playing basketball with each other in school that comes back around and they're playing again at the camp in him in his suit and her and her sorry. That was a setup for this payoff over here. Right, and there was also the one in the beginning as well, which I really liked, where at Tina and Rahul's wedding, Tina asks him, do you want to be friends? Which seems like a really weird thing to ask someone when you're getting married to them. And then later on, you find out that he has this whole monologue about how love is friendship. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a really nice theme of like, a relationship should be based on Right. friendship what i'm trying to get to is that two hour him being two hours late that never comes back around that's all i'm getting at yeah because he was very much on time to the wedding right <laughs> yeah. yeah i guess he had an arc <laughs> right oh. yeah he did have an arc Mm-mm. he learned to be punctual so he could get the girl why did the shooting stars look like shooting sperm <laughs> it, it's like because they, so, they were moving so fast just like the sperm does when it wants to fertilize an egg here's the thing what like it's fine <laughs> it, it just it just looked goofy. Oh, they could have they got it's everything fine. else right. They got Anufom Care dancing like a goofball. His laugh was oh, they like they should have had the laugh come back at the end. It and, was really good. Hold on, I got shit all over my face. Mm. We haven't spoken about the grandma at all. I really liked her. I like that she got to come back in uh, K3G as well. Yeah, she was a nice part of this movie. I thought like all the characters were everything was just fun. That's yeah. the easiest way to put it. I don't know that I can necessarily say anything specifically about the characters that stood out to me as quite memorable. Like, oh, like when I look back on this movie five years from now, I'm going to think about these characters' particular traits. It's the movie as a whole, the way it resonates with me and touches me. Yeah, and it's really feel good. It really, I, I don't know, I felt good at the end of it. And I love, like I said earlier on, I just love the moral of except the for, story. Except for Anupam Kara. 
I'm going to remember that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he just stands out in this movie. He should be on the posters. Like, come see this movie because of this guy. Just down to his laugh. Like, his just, his <laughs> giggle was so ridiculous. This was just a very, very enjoyable adventure to yes. go through. Yes, So hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction and review. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.